Capital Investment and Financial Decision, Working Capital Management. Hello student, welcome to the lecture on Working Capital Management and after this lecture, we will be able to learn the following objectives. Understand the concept of working capital, explain the principles of working capital management, discuss the factors affecting working capital management, explain the operating cycle concept of working capital, understand the financing of working capital requirement, explain the working capital control. Introduction Working capital is the money a business has available to sustain its operation. It is the capital available to purchase inventory, pay employees, keep the lights on and finance other short-term expenditures. Thousands of companies fail each year due to poor working capital management practices. Entrepreneurs often do not account for short-term disruptions to cash flow and are forced to close their operation. In financial management, two important decisions are very vital and crucial. There are decisions regarding fixed assets, fixed capital, and decisions regarding working capital, current access. Fixed capital refers to the funds invested in such fixed or permanent assets as land, building, and machinery, etc., whereas working capital refers to the funds locked up in materials, work in progress, finished goods, receivables, and cash, etc. Thus, in very simple words, working capital may be defined as capital invested in current assets. Concept of working capital. There are two concepts of working capital. These are gross working capital. The gross working capital simply called as working capital refers to the firm's investment in current assets. It includes inventories, trade debtors, loans and advance, cash and bank balances, bill, receivables, short-term investment. Net working capital. Net working capital refers to the difference between current assets and current liabilities. Current liabilities are those claims of outsiders which are expected to mature for payment within an accounting year. Net working capital may be positive or negative. Positive net working capital will arise when current assets exceed current liabilities and a negative net working capital will arise when current liabilities exceed current assets. It includes trade creditors, bill payable, acquired, repeat, accrued or outstanding expenses, trade advances, short-term borrowings, provisions, bank overdraft. Principles of Working Capital Management Principle of Risk Variation The word risk refers to the inability of a firm to maintain sufficient current asset to pay for its obligation. If working capital varies relatively to fixed assets, investment or sales, the amount to risk that a firm assumes also varies and the opportunity for a gain or loss is increased. When the degree of risk increases, the opportunity of gain or loss also increases. Thus, if the level of working capital goes up, the amount of risk goes up and vice versa. Principle of Equity Position Capital should be invested in each component of working capital as long as the liquidity position of the firm increases. According to this principle, the amount of working capital invested in each component should be adequately justified by a firm's equity position. Principle of cost of capital The type of capital used to finance working capital directly affects the amount of risk that a firm assumes as well as the opportunity for gain or loss in cost of capital. This principle emphasizes that different sources of finance have different costs of capital. It should be remembered that the cost of capital moves inversely with risk. Principle of Circulation The circulation of working capital should take minimum time period. The shorter the time period of circulation, the more peculiar is the management of working capital. Principle of Liquidity 
In determination of firm's liquidity, the proportion of net working capital and liquid funds plays a more important role than that of inventory. If there are assets like government securities, bonds and debentures and share that are known to be readily marketable, they may be liquidated at a moment's notice when cash is needed. Principle of Maturity of Payment The greater the disparities between the maturities of firm's short-term debt investment and its flow of internally generated funds, we greater the risks and vice versa. A company should make every effort to relate maturity of payment to its flow of internally generated funds. Principle of Adequacy Firms which manage adequate working capital always earn higher profit than the firms which fail to manage adequate working capital. Importance of Working Capital Management The aim of working capital management is to manage a firm's current assets, example, debtors, receivables, cash in hand, cash at bank, stock, etc., and firm's current liabilities, namely creditors, bill payable, etc., in best possible manner. Proper management of working capital is very important for the success of a concern. It aims at protecting the purchasing power of assets and maximizing the return on investment. Management of working capital also helps management in evaluating various existing or proposed financial constraints and financial offerings. Failure of business is undoubtedly due to poor management and absence of management skill. Adequate working capital provides the business a cushion against the adverse effects of shrinkage in the value of current assets in short to a great extent the maintenance of a company's credit standing and provides a meeting emergencies. It plays technical role in maximization of the rate of return. Factors affecting working capital management. Following are the factors which affect the working capital of a firm. Size of business. Working capital requirement of a firm is directly influenced by the size of its business operation. Big business organization require more working capital than the small business organization. Nature of business. Working capital requirement depends upon the nature of business carried by the firm. Normally, manufacturing industries and trading organization need more working capital than in the service business organization. Storage time or processing period. Time needed for keeping the stock in store is called storage period. The amount of working capital is influenced by the storage period. If storage period is high, a firm should keep more quantity of goods in store and hence requires more working capital. Credit period. Credit period allowed to customers is also one of the major factors which influence the requirement of working capital. Longer credit period requires more investment in debtors and hence more working capital is needed. Seasonal requirement. In certain business, raw material is not available throughout the year. Such business organizations have to buy raw material in bulk during the season to ensure an uninterrupted flow and process them during the entire year. Potential growth or expansion of business. If the business is to be extended in future, more working capital is required. More amount of working capital is required to meet the expansion need of business. Changes in price level. Changes in price level also affects the working capital requirement. Generally, the rise in price will require the firm to maintain a large amount of working capital as more funds will be required to maintain the sale level of current assets. Dividend policy. The dividend policy of the firm is an important determinant of working capital. The need for working capital can be met with the retained earnings if a firm retains more profit and distributes lower amount of dividend, it needs less working capital. Access to money market. If a firm has good access to capital market, it can raise loan from bank and financial institution. It results in minimization of need of working capital. Working capital cycle. When the working capital cycle of a firm is long, it will require larger amount of working capital. But if working capital cycle is short, it will need less working capital.
operating efficiency. The operating efficiency of a firm also affects the firm's need of working capital. The operating efficiency of the firm results in optimum utilization of assets. The optimum utilization of assets in turn results in more fund release for working capital. Operating cycle concept of working capital. We can say that the term operating cycle, otherwise called as cash cycle, refers to the length of time necessary to complete the following cycle of events. Conversions of cash into inventory. In this stage, cash first get converted into raw materials, then work in process and then finish goods in a typical manufacturing concern. As regards non-manufacturing concerns, when the goods are purchased, cash gets converted into inventory. Conversion of inventory into debtors. The inventory does produce or purchase get converted into debtors or receivables upon credit sales. Conversion of debtors into cash. The debtors or accounts receivables get in turn converted back into cash when they make payment. Problems of inadequate working capital. When working capital is inadequate, the company faces the following problems. The growth of company is stagnant because the firm to undertake profitable projects for non-availability of working capital funds. Inadequate working capital is difficult to implement operating plans and achieve the firm's profit target. Inadequate working capital is difficult to meet day-to-day -day commitments. Inadequate working capital funds, the firm has unable to avail attractive credit opportunities. The firm loses its reputation when it is not in a position to honor its short-term obligation. Problems of excessive working capital The firm maintains a sound working capital position. It should have adequate working capital to run its business operations, but excessive working capital position is dangerous to a business enterprise as follows. It results in unnecessary accumulation of inventories, Best changes of inventory, mishandling, waste, theft and losses increase. It is an indication of defective credit policy and slack collection period. Consequently, higher incidence of bad debts results which adversely affects profits. Excessive working capital makes management complacent which degenerates into managerial inefficiency. Tendencies of accumulating inventories tend to make speculative Profits grow. Determinants of working capital. The total working capital requirement is determined by a wide variety of factors. It should be noted that these factors affect different enterprises differently. The following is a description of the factors which generally influence the working capital requirements of the firms. Financing of working capital requirement. Working capital management is the management of the net of current assets and current liabilities with the objective of reaching the right balance between profitability and liquidity. To discuss the different approaches to financing working capital, it is important to identify that ordinarily company may use short-term sources of finance to finance its short-term activities such as working capital activities and long-term source of finance for its capital investment in non-current asset. Three approaches to financing working capital. Approaches to financing working capital are described as aggressive approach to financing working capital. The aggressive method is where a company predominantly finances all its fluctuating current assets and most of its permanent current assets using short-term source of finance and it is only a small proportion of its permanent current assets that is financed using long-term source of finance. A company that uses more short-term source of finance and less long-term source of finance will incur less cost but with a corresponding high risk. Conservative approach to financing working capital. The other extreme method of financing working capital is where a company decides to use mainly long-term source of finance and very little short-term source of finance to finance its working capital. 
The conservative method is where a company predominantly finances all its permanent current assets and most of its fluctuation current assets using long-term source of finance and it is only a small proportion of its fluctuating current assets that is financed using short-term source of finance. Moderate approach to financing working capital between the two extreme approaches to financing working capital is the moderate or the matching or balancing approach. This approach makes distinction between fluctuating current assets and permanent current assets with a suggestion that to finance working capital, short term source of finance should be used to finance fluctuating current assets while long term source of finance should be used to finance permanent current assets. Working capital control. Working capital is a key element in business success. Successful business is about investing in the right ideas, the right equipment and the right people. There are two types of capital need. For fixed capital, to invest in things such as buildings, plants and equipments and working capital, principally to pay for stock and to cover the amount of credit extended to customers. The primary objective of working capital management is to ensure that sufficient cash is available to meet day-to-day -day cash flow needs, pay wages and salaries when they fall due, pay creditors to ensure continued supplies of goods and services, pay government taxation and providers of capital, dividends, ensure the long-term survival of the business entity. Summary let us now summarize what we have learned in this section. A positive working capital position is required for the continuous running of a company's operation, that is to pay short-term debt obligations and to cover operational expenses. One efficient but often overlooked way of doing so is to reduce the amount of capital tied up in operation, that is to improve the working capital management of the company. The aim of working capital management is to manage a firm's current asset, example debtors, receivables, cash in hand, cash and bank, stock, etc. The management of working capital also helps the management in evaluating various existing or proposed financial constraints and financial offerings. The working capital plays the same role in the business as the role of heart in the human body. Working capital funds are generated and circulated in the business just like blood in the heart.